Welcome to GEM tutorial. In this tutorial, we will understand what is GEM. So GEM stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. It is used for editing images, for playing with them, to add new effects to them and make pictures really visually appealing. So why do we use GEM? So GEM is free alternative to uh, softwares like Paint, Photoshop, um, Photoshop costs you about hundreds of dollars per user so eventually you are saving lots of money. GIMP is extremely light which makes it extremely fast as compared to other bulky softwares. GIMP has got hundreds of soft hundreds of features which are to be explored by any new user so if you are a newbie then GIMP will have plenty of features to explore so let's le start learning GIMP. So this is the basic user interface of GIMP which is contained of three things. First is the menu bar which is on, on the top. Then we have toolbox on the left side and layers box on the right side. And we will be covering each of them in following tutorials. So let's start learning how to create a new image file in GIMP. So first step is to go to file menu bar and then click on new and then you will be shown a window which says create a new image. So under template you will be shown various kinds of possible sizes of the page of the image. So choose any of these. So many of these are standard page sizes around the world. So like A3, A4, A5, these are international paper sizes. So let's say we want 800 cross 800. In case you want any custom size of the page, let's say 540 cross 273, any random number, then you can also then you can mention that. Also, there are units, various units. You, in case you have, you know the specifications of the image, then you can choose. So let's say I want 200 millimeters cross 190 millimeters. Then I can specify that. Also, we have got resolution. So let's say if we want to increase the resolution 200 the eventual size will increase of the image and also the depth and quality of the image will also increase. So this pixels by inch means number of pixels contained in an inch. So higher the number, more clarity, more, cl uh, more quality it would have. So we can also ch change the parameter so it can be pixels per meter, pixels per point, pixels per centimeter, meter. Also we have two options uh, for color space so either we can choose the grayscale or we can use the RGB color. RGB con contains red, green and blue. Also we have option of filling the color inside the image which we are creating so in case we want to fill it with the foreground color which is on the left so this is the foreground color while the white is the background color. We can choose we can change them by clicking on it over it. But right now we are choosing foreground color and just press OK. So we are we are shown a new image which we created. So in case we want to create a new image with the background color field, then we can just click on background. We can choose background color over here and keeping all the parameters intact. So now we are shown a, an image which is filled with background color. In case we want it to be tra transparent which we do for creating PNG files which are used for website purposes. Then we can just go to advanced options and fill it with transparency and click on OK and we are shown a new image with transparency. So we will understand what are the benefits of transparency over these in following videos. So this is 
the process of creating a new file so in case you want to open any existing file just then click on ok open and choose a location from where you want to open that file and then press ok open so that file will open so in this video we learned why do we use GIMP, what is GIMP and how to create new images and how to open images in GIMP thank you for watching the video